All right, so on Instagram, I put out this thing that was basically like, hey, let me answer three questions for the vlog, because I have no other original idea. So that's what we're doing. Put your head on my shoulder. Hold me in your arms. First question. Baby. I won't read names, because that'll just take forever. Whatever happened to your dear Evan Hansen film? I was really excited for it. Thank you. Um, well, is the mic on? Okay. Well, dear Evan Hansen, um, I'm trying to remember what was happening around that time. It was supposed to be out, be filmed in February, and Superman 2 is supposed to come after it, but then we just skipped dear Evan Hansen, did Superman 2, and then never went back to dear Evan Hansen. The previous two um, video, like major videos I've done, that being We Fit Trader and Superman 2, though those are okay videos, they're not the best I could have made them be, and up to the date of filming for Dear Evan Hansen, I was not preparing as much as I had for example, the first Superman. I think the only reason that, that Superman did well is because of how much preparation went into that one. Superman 2 was just kind of like we got the supplies, and then we just kind of wung it. Wung it? Wung it? We just kind of did it. It wasn't really thought out. It wasn't really storyboarded. It wasn't, like, ran over with the actors. Like, it was just, it wasn't planned out as well as the first one. Same with the Wii Fit Trainer. It's fun. It was fun to shoot, but that video could have been so much better had I taken the time to actually follow those things. So by the time Dear Evan Hansen was ready to film, I was not prepared enough as I should have been, and I didn't want to release a Dear Evan Hansen project that would suck. I wanted, if I were to pick it up again, I would want it to make sure that it was filmed in a way that it made you feel like you were watching it straight out of a movie, as opposed to just some form of a YouTube video. So yeah, long answer, but that's that's my answer to uh, that question. Squeeze me oh so Ooh. tight, show me that you love me too. In other news, though, we had a really cool thing happen since the last vlog. So, um, Justin's film, Mental Pictures. It made it into a film festival, which was really cool. It's the Marietta Film Festival, Marietta, Georgia. And we also got nominated for two categories, one being, I believe, Best Original Short. And, oh my gosh, the focused. Cool. And another one being, um... Best Original Screenplay. What am I doing? But yeah, so... That happened, and that was pretty cool. It's raining outside. Another cool thing we learned about this um, film festival was that a pretty big name star's gonna be there. I don't, I don't know if you've heard him. His name is, you know, just, Shia LaBeouf. Do it! Just do it! Yeah. So, that's kind of cool. So yeah, Shia LaBeouf is in this film festival, and that's... That's pretty freaking cool. I don't know if he's actually gonna be there or not. But I mean... It's pretty wild to think we're in a film festival with, festival with him. He also made a short film that's gonna be premiering there. Um... He directed it, he stars in it. Yeah. Unlikely this would happen, but how cool would it be if Shia LaBeouf like got a pretty good convo with Justin and I and like he wanted to do some work together? Super unlikely, but like how cool would that be? How cool would it be if he was in the vlog? That'd be pretty cool. Put your lips One thing that's happened since um, the MTV Cribs house tour um, we got a couch. 
which many friends recommended that we get. We finally gave in, we got a couch. It's a nice couch, it's comfy, I relax on it. It's also a futon. So, uh, yeah. We also got this pretty big smart TV in front of me. I don't feel like turning the camera around because uh, I'm comfy right here. I'm pretty comfy right here. Let's see if we have more questions. Oh, my friend is in New York. Central Park. Ice cream without me. Rude. 24 people have seen it. One question. Yeah, that's all we got for questions. Wow. Nobody has questions. <laughs> Do you ever accidentally record something and forget that your audio, that your mic wasn't on? So we finally got more questions, let's do this. What other YouTuber friends do you plan on collaborating with? Um, I really, I'm a really big fan of, um, some of the newer friends, uh, people, yeah, friends that I've made. Um, I love Wages of Sin stuff. They've been really, um, gracious enough for me to let them use some of their stuff. I even got to do a little short for their, um, Old Man of the Rook series, and I just, I, l I love their work. Um, Jeremy Garcia, I'm, I love his cinematography. It's really, really gorgeous. Uh, Cam Logan, he's, I love his, like, he's, he's funny. I really, really enjoy, um, Bryn Gets a Job. Like, that one's, that one's a lot of fun. So, whether it be working with them or for them or like acting, I, like I would be down. I I just love all of their work. Are you ever going to submit a full to a festival? I'm not sure I get the question, a full to a festival. If you're asking if I'm ever going to submit a film to a festival, I've already done that. I did that with Vigilant, our worst short out of Justin and I's shorts. Um, and it actually won Best Picture in that film festival. Yeah. If the question is if I'm ever going to submit a full film to a festival, then when I get there, I'm not I'm not there yet, but when I get there, I'd, I'd like to. Are you gay? You know, I've been told I act like it, but no, I'm not. Did you get a haircut? Yes, I did. Thanks for noticing. Would you ever do a mini movie of a Disney movie? Like a Disney princess one? That's a really cool question. Um, I, I love Disney movies. They've, they've been with me since, basically since I was a child, like a baby. So I would only want to do it if I could do it justice, you know? Like I wouldn't want to mess up uh, something Disney. So if I were ever to do a mini movie of a Disney movie. <sighs> It'd be fun to do a film scene of the modern Broadway version of Newsies. Because the Disney movie is good, but the Broadway version is pretty great. So to do like a movie scene version of Santa Fe, that'd be pretty cool. Um... If I had Kermit the Frog, that'd be awesome. I'd love to do something Muppets related. They're they're pretty um, dear to my heart, especially Beaker and Kermit. Um, because I mean Kermit's Kermit is in my videos anytime someone swears. There's a Kermit that goes over them, so I mean I love Kermit the Frog. Um, let's answer the second part of that question because that's the interesting part. Like a Disney princess one. I can't think of a way that I would do a Disney princess one. Maybe, maybe Tangled. Tangled might would be easy to do. 
there might be a story there. If it's like a continuation of Tangled, um, you might get have a story where like, um, you know, Flynn Rider, he, he used to be like a criminal. So maybe now that he's kind of like higher up on the throne, that kind of puts him out more of a, as a target. So some people he got on their bad side like years ago, maybe they want to go after him. So that leads to some sort of mini adventure. Like I could maybe see that, but I can't really think of a of a Disney princess way I could do realistically. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I'd love to. Wouldn't it make more sense if the wasp girl was a bee? Because if you think about it, bee queens. Well, the proverb I know is that all women are queens, but if she breathes, she's a thought. Why don't you let me visit you more? I'm lonely and stressed. You don't, you never really ask. You asked once. When did your love of Oreos <laughs> begin? Um, I always liked Oreos growing up. Anytime I was able to get my hand on one, it was always a treat. But I never really got like obsessed with them until maybe seventh grade. Cause mom would go to Costco and buy like the giant bulk of Oreos that came in like, not the container they normally come in, but like they're in a cardboard box and it was like a plastic sleeve of like 10. And I would eat maybe 40 a day. And it got really bad and to the point where mom had to like just buy a regular just pack of Oreos just so I could like limit myself in my intake of Oreos. So I would say seventh grade is when my Oreo obsession got pretty bad. Uh, moving in, there was like a solid, moving into the apartment, there was like a solid week of like no Oreos. And it actually kind of drove me crazy. So is it a bad habit? Is it kind of a of an obsession, like an unhealthy thing? Maybe a little bit, but uh, it hasn't killed me yet. So why not? Um, no. Not a question. All right, this is the one person I will call out. That's from Connor. He used to be in our videos. He's like Connor, uh, OG Connor, not Connor 2.0, but he's like Connor. He just put no. No to you, sir. All right, if anyone puts a question in after I've already filmed this, I'm sorry I didn't get to do it. I kind of want to make this like a weekly thing to where I put up some sort of a question and I put people's like either answers or responses into the video. Um, what would you think of that? I'd love some feedback on that. That's all for today's vlog. Um, yeah, that's, that's it.